Hey guys, I've been using this planner, the rings, for like five months now, since May, and I haven't really showed it to you in a lot of detail or reviewed it, so that's what I'm going to do today. If you haven't seen the unboxing video that I did, uh, I'm going to link that below as well as at the end of this video so you can catch up on that and see exactly what this looked like when it first came. But this binder is from a shop called Asian Vintage TN on Etsy. Uh, they have a bunch of different kinds of traveler's notebooks and a few other ring planners. Um, I, my understanding is that they make these themselves, but I'm not sure. Um, and I have also actually seen these for sale on Amazon as well. They have them there. Um, so you can, you know, use your credits or whatever uh, for that. It's supposed to be made out of something called crazy horse leather. I've never uh, had any anything else made by that, but it's a really soft, supple leather, and it's um, really gorgeous the way it kind of scuffs up. But um, more stats. It's listed as an A7 slash pocket size, so it fits the, um, the Filofax pocket size. This is what the rings look like. They're all evenly spaced. I'm pretty sure that it's similar to how a personal size works, except that has a bigger gap between these two. Um, and so that's, if you see all the rings with the same spacing, that's the pocket size. Um, the inserts I use are three and a quarter inches wide by four and three quarter inches tall. So that's slightly, slightly smaller than the, um, the field note size, which is what they call pocket in a uh, traveler's notebook. These are technically a little bit closer to a um, passport size in traveler's notebooks. So it's not an exact equivalency, but it's pretty close. And I, uh, I really like the size, but again, I'll get to that in a little bit. So, so there's rivets here that hold the rings in place. But what's different from this compared to like a lot of filofaxes is instead of having a closure that goes around here and snaps on the front, it's got this um, elastic that wraps around just like a traveler's notebook would. Um, it's the same as you'd see in a filofax domino, I believe. But then it's got this little piece of leather that just kind of protects the edge. It looks kind of like the um, the pen holders, pen loops that come on like a, uh, I've seen them I think on Foxy Fixes, but it's not really, it doesn't have a slit in it. I think it's just to protect the edge from the elastic. Um, I took it off for a while, I put it back on. To be honest, I leave this unwrapped, like most of the time I just throw it in my bag like this. So, you know, that's pros and cons and whatever, but, um, I will link below the link to the actual binder. You can find it and um, to the unboxing video so you can see what it looks like when it's brand new. But this is what it looks like now that I have been using this as my everyday carry since May. I want to say the beginning of May. You can see it's got a little bit scuffed, a little bit, a little, a little bit of wear, which just kind of brings out some variation in color. I really like how it wears. It looks rustic but also kind of, it still has a bit of shine to it in places. I don't know if you can see this very well with the, the light at all. Here, this lighting is terrible for the rest, but you can kind of see the variation in color from like the scuffing and scratching. You can kind of, you know, see how it looks when it scratches and it kind of comes out. Um, it's kind of a soft buttery feeling leather. It's really, it feels really, really nice. Um, it doesn't have like a pile to it, but it c feels a little bit velvety, if that makes sense. Like it's smooth, but it feels velvety. I, I don't know how to describe it, but it's called Crazy Horse Leather. Um, the pen loop itself, you'll see, has some wrinkles because it's basically lives folded in half. So if you can see that, it does. I'm going to fix the lighting again. So those are the stats um, on how I actually like it. First of all, ring planners. This is the first ring planner I've ever owned, and I really like the rings. I um, like when I first started using a planner. I was like, oh, those rings. You know, I'm a bullet journal person, um, and I still, I, th I think I'm still a bullet journal person. But that's for a different video. Um, but I really like being able to move the um, the pages around it's great 
so like I said, this size is similar, a little bit smaller, similar to the pocket size that I was already using in Traveler's Notebooks. So the sizing is exactly what I wanted. Um, and it, you know, it's about the, the amount of page space real estate that I'm used to. If you are used to a bigger planner, they come in different sizes, you know, that's whatever. Um, but I really like that with the rings, I can move things around. So like I had a separate section for baby stuff and I moved some of those to different sections and split it up differently. Um, and I'm able to just take a page and say, oh yeah, okay. I can start it in the back and then decide where it goes. It's great. It's, it's really convenient. Um, even more so than I thought it would be. I can have, I've got six dividers, right? Plus this one in the front. This is a whole section here. Um, so that's seven sections in here. And if I wanted seven sections in a traveler's notebook, I would have to either split between notebooks or it would get really chunky and I would have all kinds of paper that I didn't need. Basically, I just like having exactly what I need and no more or very little more and no less, you know, because I can take pages out. I can put them back. I can set them aside and if I don't need them until I need them later, it's great. Um, and then I can, when I don't need the page, just, I'm done. Like, uh, I think I have one back here. Yep, this is a grocery list. I made a grocery list. I went shopping. I don't need this anymore. And we're done. So having rings is great. I mean, there's, there's pros and cons to every system. Uh, the negatives to the ring planner mostly is that it's really hard to write on the left-hand side of the page because these rings get in your way. If you're left-handed, then it would be the opposite direction and up to you whether that's a problem. Um, I'm getting better at writing on the left side of the page. Let me see here, like this to-do list is here and I wrote all of this with my hand like this and I, I made it work, you know? If you had a bigger planner, maybe that wouldn't be as big of a deal. Um, and then the size of the pages, I guess, is one thing that could be considered a drawback. Um, I think I have enough. Also, the size of the rings is, there's a limit to how much you can fit in here, right? Like, width-wise, you can fit more, but then you wouldn't be able to open it properly because all the pages would kind of bend into each other. I'm not illustrating this well, but basically with a traveler's notebook, you can get it as chunky as you like, you know, and it's just maybe you run out of leather on the side, but you can fit as much as you want. With these rings, there's a limit to where like you open it and you can't fit anything else on this side. And you know, it, it stops being usable. I have enough for what I have in here. Like this is pretty perfect. I think how much I have in here versus the size of the rings, I could probably fit a little bit more. Um, but that is a, a factor as far as a drawback for what rings are. But this binder itself, I have mixed feelings, to be honest. Like I said, the leather feels gorgeous, looks gorgeous, still smells gorgeous. It's been like, what, five months? Um, and yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. It's very sturdy. Like it's been, I, I see nowhere to the stitching. Um, the leather's great. And the main thing that I love about this and is the reason that I was able to even get rings in the first place is that this binder is so affordable. This is actually $37 um, for real leather. Like if you want to start in rings and you are a stickler for real leather, this is the best deal that you can find. Um, there's plenty of cheaper ring planners out there that are faux leather or plastic or fabric or whatever. Um, and those are great. I was getting used to my Chic Sparrows. I was spoiled. I wanted something that was actual leather. And for whatever reason, ring planners are so much more expensive than traveler's notebooks for the same piece of leather. I don't know. It's because, I mean, the mechanism isn't that expensive. I don't get it. But, you know, I guess when you have your brand names, that's a concern. But, um, yeah, this is a really affordable way to get into ring planners. The problem with this notebook and the reason that I... I don't know if I would wholeheartedly recommend it, right? So take this into consideration. First of all, you'll see that there's like a little bit of gold foil that's rubbed off. That happened with my Chic Sparrows too. That the foiling rubbed off the acetate onto the leather. 
can see this. I don't know if you can see that or not. That happens. Um, but the problem is that this leather, whatever they use to dye it, it actually rubs off onto the paper. And that's a problem. Um, I put this plastic here in the back to protect it. Before I had that, I there was like a, this pattern of the pocket was on the back of the page. I can't use these pockets for that reason. Um, whenever I stick something in here, you know, I have stuck stuff in here in the past um, for just like a day maybe, and then, you know, just to take it home and take it out. But if I leave something in here for too long, I left a receipt in here once, and by the time I pulled it out to read it, for whatever reason, not only did it have the leather dye all over it, it was like, brown and stained, but it also like had taken off the, um, the ink from the receipt, like the thermal ink, for whatever reason, it was completely blank. Um, I've actually kept my daughter's um, hospital wristband in here for a little while because so I could have her medical record number with me. I kept it in here for maybe a month or so. It was plastic, right? Made out of plastic and it got stained from these pockets. So these pockets are really tight, like this one you'll see is a little bit, you know, looser. Secretarial pockets, I could kind of take or leave. They're a little tricky to get stuff into the corners properly. These pockets are tight. I guess there's, I mean, it's a little bit of stretch. I'm not sure if I don't use them because I just don't use pockets very much or because they're so tight or because they stain stuff. It's kind of a combination of all three. So that's, that's my main issue with this. Also not great is the, um, this pen loop. This is supposed to be a pen loop. Here's a, uh, it's just a paper clip. This is a bobby pin. And I just have this bobby pin in here to keep the pen loop down because it is too small for my pen. Here, if I wanted to put my pen in here. Okay. There we go. Okay, look at that. I actually got it to fit in. But like, I'm not gonna deal with this every single time. I need my pen. So basically I decided I wasn't gonna use the pen loop. So I just took this bobby pin and I just stick it on there. And so it stays behind here. And then this was new. I just found a paper clip I liked and it actually fits on there really well too. Um, so the pen loop is too small. Honestly, I would, I would want it bigger. Um, the pen loops on the Chic Sparrow were a great size for this. I was able to pull it in and out really easily. Um, but basically now, like I said, I just kind of tossed this in to my bag and I tossed the pen in with it. I also, just cause I'm, I'm used to traveler's notebooks and I would always pull the strap on and off, no problem. I'm not sure if I don't use this because of this little protective leather piece or because it just has, like it flops open and closed, no problem. It's not gonna like stay open on its own um, in my bag. It's not gonna like fight me. And so I don't feel like I need to close it. Um, I don't know. It's like, I guess this is just a matter of opinion. Um, but I think on my next planner, whenever that is, I wanna get one that closes in the front, you know, maybe with a, maybe with a magnet, maybe with a snap either way. Um, but that's pretty much it. So some of these things that I like and some that I don't like, completely subjective, matter of opinion. Um, but I just, so like, I would recommend this. I would recommend this journal, especially if you're looking for something that's affordable um, and that's real leather. If you wanna give rings a try, like I did, um, but you're not ready to sink more than $100 in a file fax, then, um, then take a look at this. It was a really great deal. I, like I said, we'll link below, but just, I want you to know if you're looking at it, that it's going to stain your paper if you're not careful. Um, because for whatever reason, it, this leather feels gorgeous, but it stains. I, I don't know why. So, and it seems to be both the, the right side and the wrong side that stain, but I guess it's just the way it's treated. That's all I can say. I guess it's just the way it's treated. Um, so I guess those are pros and cons. So that's all I have to say. Lots of words to say very little, but basically if you're interested, there are links. And, uh, if you're not, that's why. So thank you guys for watching. I will continue to be using this. Oh, so I was going to say like, 
Um, I keep talking about like my next plan or whenever that is. I'm saving up um, for a file of facts. I think I'm gonna get a file of facts next. A Malden stone, probably. Um, same size, I love the size, and honestly, it's kind of nice that the size is the cheapest size, so there you go. Um, and I'm hoping to get something that's gonna be the pockets a little bit roomier and the leather just a little bit more usable. Like I'm afraid to keep stuff in here other than the actual pages because those are protected by dashboards, but everything else, like it's just a binder. So that's why I'm thinking of upgrading, but I really do like having the rings in here. So I'm definitely not moving out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye.